Well, you don't have any choice about that. You know, if you're, if you're, if this is what you do, this is what you do. I've never really thought I had any choice about whether to work in music or not work in music. That's what I do. I've always felt quite lucky to be able to make a living out of it. I think anyone who makes a living out of it is quite fortunate. Uh, but no, I mean, I enjoy it more and more all the time because I've worked with brilliant people and. You know, you work with someone like Damon, that is always, it's always a joy, really. It's a pleasure to do it, even the, the, the tricky bits are brilliant. I buzz off all of it. I mean, I'm the, I buzz off being in the studio is what I buzz most off of. And that's what I enjoy doing, and that's what I'm spending most of my time doing at the moment. It's, uh, it's producing records, I love it. Yeah, I've never enjoyed it more than, than, than at the moment. Well, I just I produced a record by these uh, uh, two girls, an Afro-Cuban duo called Ibei, spelled I-B-E-Y-I, so they've got an album coming out shortly on Exile, so that's their first record, and they've made this very, very sort of deep, um, quite spiritual record, but with a lot of kind of hip-hop influences, and they're really, really good, so I've been enjoying doing that. Well, I just, you know, you've got to make records that you love. You've got to make stuff for yourself. You know, and I've, I mean, I've always found it very useful to. I've carried on something I did as a kid, which was I always used to make a tape of the songs of the year every year. So I've done that for my whole life. And then with stuff you're working on, you just got to try and get it in. You've got to try and make things that are going to go on your best of the year playlist for yourself, which is not easy, you know, if you're being really honest about it. So that's, uh, I think that's a good way to do it. Produce is massively important, never been more important because production is such a, I mean, of music that, that I love, which is music where sound is explored and, you know, where people are trying to innovate with the sound. And the producer, I mean, the, maybe the producer is the artist or maybe the producer is part of the band like Jamie and the XX, but it's, I, I think it's, it's more important than ever. I mean, it's, uh, I think it's the most fascinating and brilliant work that gets done really in music, a lot of it is by producers. Well, it's lot, you know, there's, I've, got a real, I've got a real mixture of stuff from the sort of very cheap to the quite collectible. I mean, I've got like a, on one end of the scale, I've got the, like the first ever drum machine that ever existed, which is the world, it's a Sideman, it's called. And it's about, it's that high, it's that wide. And they designed it to sell to people to put next to their organ when they play the organ at home, you know. But it still makes quite a good noise. That's a, that's a nice thing to have. And uh, so I like that. And I like this stuff, this company Critter and Guitari make. And they make like small synths, something called a collider loop, which loops things very quickly and on the fly. So I like Critter and Guitari. I like the teenage engineering stuff, the OP1. You know, I like, I like toys, I like it all. I think, I, I think as a producer, you're there to listen. You know, you've got to be listening, you've really got to be listening. I'm really, you've got to be tuned into the people you're working with. And I, you know, I, I, don't really, I don't really come across that many differences because I feel like you've all got to be in tune and you've got to be doing it together. And then everything's collaborative and it's all, it's, just, it's all a collaboration. So I think, I, I, yeah, I don't really experience differences that much. Well, look, I mean, I think Jay has had so much impact with these two singles that he's put out. I think, I think his music's phenomenal. He's a, he's a wizard, and I think his music is really on its own level. A lot of albums come out every year, and most of them aren't really that interesting. And the music that he's made and the impact that he's had, I would say already is more impactful than the vast majority of albums that get made. And I had someone, I was in a record shop recently, and the guy from the shop said to me, where's this album gonna be? And I was like, look, your shop's full of albums. You know, and you might not care about a lot of them. You know, you care about what he does. So I, I feel like he's like, he's doing his thing at his, at his pace. And he's, he's very special. No one makes a sound like him. So I, I kind, of, kind of treasure that, whether there's an album at the moment or not. Well, I think the most, um, Personally, the one that made the biggest difference to my whole life was the Girl Scott Heron record. Uh, just for lots of reasons, just because it was, I felt like he was, you know, he, people thought, said to me that I was taking a risk to work with him, but really he was taking a risk to work with me. And I hadn't been, I hadn't been in the studio for years before that. I'd had a long break of, of really making records. And he really 
kind of got me back into making records and being really kind of encouraged me to be really committed to it and I, I, I feel I'd always be enormously grateful to him for doing that and the experiences I had with him were, were, were life changing really so uh, yeah I, I, that, one was, that one was very powerful.